might sound stupid, but I just didn't want to overthink things. Okay. Was that a knife noise? Uh, I heard something downstairs. I guess we've got to go check it out. I don't remember leaving the oven on. Why? Welcome to Fears to Fathom 3, Carson House. This is episode 3 in the psychological horror series. So let's go into it. We have already played Home Alone, uh, Norwood Hitchhike, and we actually skipped all the way to Ironbark Lookout in the first time I uploaded. But I've now put them in order for you all, and they're all in a playlist. So if you want to go back and watch them, feel free. My name is Noah. I'm 28 year old male from Midwest. I have no idea why I'm sending this, but I hope my story can be a lesson. Ooh, it must be good. I believe our psycho bitch of an ex comes trying to kill us as well, but let's find out. This happened to me when I was 18, but I remember this incident like it was yesterday, and the trauma dictated a majority part of my life. For a little background, my dad was a realtor and almost always became friends with his clients. One day he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days and needed somebody he could trust to watch over his house. The man worked as COO at a local media company. <gasps> Please, promote me, please. Dad told me the man would pay me a hundred just to watch the house and do some basic chores. God damn. I accepted the offer and I had nothing interesting going on for the weekend. Besides, I thought I could use the time to get my schoolwork done. Fair play, fair play. Plus, I wasn't picky where my pocket money came from. Yeah, fair enough. My dad drove me to the house. Oh. We start in a laundry mat. Oh, uh, and I'm boxed in. Nice. It's absolutely pissing it down outside. That isn't just... In fact, that isn't just pissing it down. It's torrential rain. I don't know. I like looking out of windows and seeing rain. I don't know. Do you guys? Let me know in the comments down below if you find it a vibe. It's such a vibe just sitting by a window and hearing the rain pit a patter off of it. Oh. Gives me the chills. Give me the goosebumps, man. It gives me goosebumps. What are we actually doing in here, anyway? Have I put my socks in here? My cock socks? Now hiring. We've already got a job. Employees only. I don't think I should go down there. But I believe it's the only thing we can do. I guess we're off down. Oh, wow. Liminal spaces. How far does this actually go? Oh my God, I can open every single one of these. Life's good. Life is good and satisfy. Holy mama. Am I high? One of those bad boys had some fumes in it. God damn, it got me cooking. Oh, I definitely can't do this now. Oh. Oh, it's so trippy. This reminds me of getting absolutely steamed in Norwood Hitchhike. We had a coffee and... In fact, I won't spoil it. Go and see it. And you'll see me get just slaughtered. In fact, it isn't, isn't a nice experience because I was drugged. How far do we actually have to go? Oh, you there, good sir. Help me, I have been drugged. I am high as a kite, one would say. Uh, excuse me. Oh. Bleach. Ah, oh, well, we know why we're high as a kite. We're high off of the fumes of bleach. What is he doing with his wrist? Excuse me. Where did you put it? What is this place? Where is bleach? I need bleach. What even is this place? Who are you? I just said I need bleach! Alright. Oh, Noah. Noah. That time's over, we're here. 
We're here. You said you could do this. Wake up now. Wake up, Noah. Noah, wake up. Was that a dream? I was dreaming all along. Yeah, I'm awake, Dad. You still think you can do this? How long did I doze off for? Doesn't matter. Can you still do this? All right. Whoa, whoa. All right. Roy Colden said the keys should be underneath the fake rock. Got it. He said it's in the backyard. And like I said, keep the doors locked and don't open the door for anyone. I heard you for the first time, Dad. Okay, now get your ass to work. Wow, I hope you know I'm all in it for the snacks, motherfucker. I'm gonna eat all the snacks. I'm gonna eat all the snacks, Dad. And it's your fault. It was a nice neighborhood. To be fair, it actually looks nice. Don't know why when I looked at the house, the music changed. Okay. Right, well, we need to go around the back and get the key under the rock. Because there is a rock over the key. I should probably go this way. Don't want to muddy up my shoes. Ooh. It's a very big house. We've got some pool. Oh, my God. But it's empty. And where exactly... Is that dog? This is our house, isn't it? Doggy! Oh, hi, doggy! You are so cute! Oh, I'm petting you! Yes, good boy, let's play ball. No? Okay. Is this the rock? Is this the rock? Where would the rock be? Should it be near the dog? Big rocky. Oh, that was really good. That was nicely hidden. What are you barking at? Please don't tell me it's begun. I don't want it to have a big gun already. Come on, doggo. Let's go inside. I'm taking care of you for the night. We'll get. All right, I guess you're staying outside. We're gonna get some pizza. We're gonna eat loads of snacks. Yeah, it sounds good. Ooh, it's nice and toasty in here. It's nice and warm. What is that? Do not disturb for any reason. Fair enough. Oh, he's a live streamer? Oh, I had to pee. Oh, my God. I've got the green screen and everything. I don't think I want to go down there. That's somewhere where I will not be going. I will not be going to such places. Oh, we're back in the same room. Don't know why you'd have your live streaming. Oh, Rally was too lazy to model the garage. I like that. Well played. Well played. I like that. I like that. Like, the thing is with Fears to Fathom, when you go another route, it's like, I really shouldn't be going this way. You should probably go back. I don't know why I did this, but I should probably go back. I don't know why I crashed my car because of this. Don't know why I put my finger up my ass, but I just wanted to test it out. That's the kind of things that it does, and I really do enjoy that with Fears to Fathom. They, they really are on another level. <laughs> like... Ooh. Oh my god. I'm a vampire. I'm a vampire. I have no reflection. All this time, I wondered why I could float downstairs. Oh, I'm peeing everywhere. Fuck this house. Oh, man. Mr. Carson wasn't going to like that. He wasn't going to like that at all, was he? I'm pissing everywhere. Pissing all over his... I'm pissing all over... Oh, I was done with that. It's fine. Well, I'm going to leave that room. <laughs> I'm pissing everywhere. Go back downstairs and explore. Oh, I got a text message. Oh, is that a cat? Got a cat. I'm honestly jealous of Ava Rolf. I know, right? Just had this weird dream ever. Same. Oh, no, that is me, actually, isn't it? Thanks for taking up the job, kid. I really appreciate you doing this. I'm sorry to leave this early. Mr. Carson? My bad, Ro it's Roy. Got this contact from Walter. Work is really going the best for me, of me here. Oh, no problem, Mr. Carson. My pleasure, really. Haha. <laughs> He's my dad. Well, I've got my maths notebook. Shall I do it at the back table? No, we will do it at the back table. I don't like how the knives are just out on the side. Ah, Roy Carson, there we go. We've saved him in his phone now. I wouldn't have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Zeke. Zeke? Or oh, Zeke? Zeke? 
Zeke. Boy's been a little sick lately. Oh, I'll take care of him in the house. Oh, he's at the dog. I don't know if I can take care of a sick dog. I can barely take care of myself, but we'll find out. Now that I'm here, you have nothing to worry about, Miss Carson. Apart from any money that you've stashed around the house will be now mine. You're a lifesaver, kid. Speak of him, I wanted to remind you of his dinner time. If you could get him his dog food from the basement, right on it. I guess we'll go to the basement now. Before creepy stuff kicks off. Ooh. The basement was a little dark. I don't like that. Is there a flashlight somewhere then? Flashlight. Almost forgot, I apologise for those lights in the basement. You can grab the flashlight in the storage room upstairs. Ah, it's no problem. No problem. -o. Let's close that door. Let's go up. Let's go upstairs and then go find the flashlight. In the storage room. Which one's the storage? Is this the storage room? Storage room. Flashlight. Oh, this is the one like an iron bark lookout. Wow. I cannot wait for episode five. I know you guys have been waiting for this one, never mind episode five, but that one's gonna be good. I can't wait. <sighs> right, where's duck food? Duck food! Anywhere? Duck food? Duck food. Is there any pat pat in here? Any pat pat? No? Is it a different kind of dog food in this place? Oh. Ah! In food. Here we go. Let's close that bitch of a door. Is that dog food? Does it actually say if that's dog food? That doesn't like pat pat to me. Oh well, must be. Must be. Eh. That that was a cool mechanic. Why was that not in episode four? I need to go feed the doggo, don't I? Let's go out then. Maybe I should close the door. Don't want to let the heat in out. Hmm. Okay. Hi, doggo. Here's your food, my friend. And I'm just gonna go put it there. Just to prove to Mr. Carson that I fed his dog. You're so cute. You are so cute. Look at you. Look at you. That was enough for Zek Zek. Zek. Zeke. That was enough for Zeke. I love you, Zeke. I love you, man. You were the dog. You were the dog, man. You're not a dog man, you're just a dog. But you are the dog man. If you know what I mean, man. Is that a camera? He knows that I'm not stealing from his house because he's got cameras everywhere. Hey kid, heard from Walter, your uh, computer with her. I have a favor to ask. My computer has been acting weird lately and the whole security system is tied to it. Oh yeah, the whole security system is set up here. Uh, have a lot of expensive equipment lying around and don't want anything to happen to it. Yeah, I understand. I'll take a look at your computer. But uh, for the fucking price, I'll charge you. Thanks, kid. No problem, Roy. You enjoy your holiday. Mr. Carson. Mr. Carson, man. This is his bedroom, yes? That isn't where I need to be. Where's his computer room, eh? Is this another bedroom? Another bedroom? Mr. Carson's bedroom had a weird smell of wet clothes. Ugh, it smells like mildew and mold in this bad boy. What's this? Oh my god! How big is this house? Damn. Ah! Use a room. Yes, I like. I like it. Mr. Carson's office looks like a good spot I could sit down and work at. I agree. Just clear this place up. I remember I was doing calculus that night. I did have schoolwork. Uh, I did have schoolwork to do, but I wasn't feeling it at the time. Oh, yeah, I need to look at his computer, don't I? Uh, Mr. Roy's password. Did he send that in a message? Mr. Roy, what is your password, good sir? Best not be Iron Tower Lookout 11. If that's what the password was, I can't remember. Pass. I know what it is. One, two, three, four. Did you forget your password? Yes, I did. Password, meow, meow. Oh, is it Zeke? Okay. Oh, Ava. Is it Ava? I think it's Ava. 
A V A. Right, I'm guessing the pass. Oh, the password was literally there this entire time. A L E Carson five. Three, eight, seven. Ah, we did it. I was trying to look around my mic. So I've got a low hanging mic, not an actual high hanging mic. But anyway, <laughs> you guys don't need to know that. Oh, let's have a look at the... Mm, we've encountered uh, critical errors, have we? Right, well... This is no good, is it? Through trial for a limited period, shall the catch your computer catches viruses get full protection now? Let's get it. Sounds good to me. Download now. Downloading antivirus. Pretty sure you're not meant to just do this. Do not do this in real life if you go on your computer and there's just a random, I'll sort out your computer for free. It's not true. From full scan. Maybe in this case it is true, but in normal cases it's not. Because it seems to have worked really well. Well, I'm saying that. It's just downloading antivirus. I don't know if it actually is. <gasps> One threat found. Oh my god. It's Jason Bourne. Oh. Remove the threat. Kill the threat. Trudge. Oski. Ah. Risk high. Infection location. Rainbow system. Ah, done. Well, we've got antivirus now, apparently. That actually worked. Oh my god, we can see all the cameras. Oh. <gasps> wow. That's terrifying. Night vision? No, I don't like that. We actually are playing Five Nights at Freddy's. Where's the dog gone? Oh, he's still eating. God, you're still eating your canned pat pat? There is a lot of cameras. There is a lot, a lot, a lot of cameras. Tell that to my kid, but thanks. I'll drop you back a nice tip when I get back. Nice. He's going to give me his tip when he gets back. <laughs> By the way, rerun must be on right now if you're going to watch it with me. What? Wait, that place got a TV? Haha. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Of course this place has a TV. Look at the fucking size of it. It's massive. I don't like leaving it on. It's okay. It'll be fine. I'm sure it will all be fine. I'm just watching somebody's house. Ah, TV. Oh, is that Thanos? Cooking, cooking with Jeffrey. And today we are Hi, Jeffrey. <laughs> cat food? Why is he cooking cat food? It's on. Are you watching it's cat food? It's super enjoyable and healthy. It's my favorite dish. <laughs> <laughs> we can't eat this. It's raw. Yeah, it's raw. We are going to gently pour the cat food onto this conveniently placed pan on a stove. Uh this is what in when the hell was that? Baby suckling upon a mother's bosom. Oh lucky baby. Lucky baby, what is this? Jeffrey really just be Jeffrey sometimes. Yes, Jeffrey is Jeffrey. What the fuck, Jeffrey? What's known as a piece of cardboard dipped in milk. Piece of cardboard dipped in milk. Piece of cardboard. A glass. Of milk. Some milk. Oh, okay, a glass and milk. To start, we poured the milk into the glass. I find it really uneasy that that is probably... Is that Squidward Tentacles? Next, we dip the cardboard in... Yeah, let's... Anyway. Oh, okay. Also, I think you should get groceries before it gets too dark outside. There's cash in my nightstand. Groceries. Ranch, strawberry jelly, Christmas... Well, I'm on it, Mr. Castle. What? Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. I'm watching his house. Why do I need to go out and do his shopping for him as well? It is nightstand, so is that in his room next to his bed? Is that what nightstand is? I don't have a nightstand myself, so I wouldn't know. Let's have a look if he's got any cash. Oh, he's got some cash, all right. Oh, God, I hate these ads. What ads is that? What aim down sights is that? It's not on. 
Oh, God, I hate these ads. I'm sorry. I've got to run this dude on my ass right now. Once oh, this dude's on my ass giving me his tip. Good Lord. Wants me to get groceries in the middle of the night. Ta, for any trouble, get something yourself. Ah. Ta. T-Y. You could take Alex's bike. It's outside in the... Oh, my God. We get to ride a bike. Where's my bike? There it is. Oh, this must be a good neighborhood just to be able to leave your bike at the side. <gasps> oh, my God. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's a car coming. It's okay, sir, take your time. I'm guessing the shop's this way. Right, I've closed all the doors and everything. All the lights are on light, but... Oh, well. Let's go this way. Oh, was the shop down there? Oh, we don't actually get to ride to the shop. Oh, well, close enough. 9.22 p.m. Oh, we do get to ride to the shop, technically. <laughs> get out of the other lane. I've been run over in the last episode. I ain't getting run over again, fool. Think I'm stupid? Oh, wheelie, man. Good lord. Okay. Get what? Okay. What? Let me in. What the hell was that? What are you playing games, eh? You playing games with me? You look very familiar. Hmm. Right, what do I need? We need ranch strawberry jelly. Oh, right, okay, we can keep it up. That's great. Okay, let's go this way then. Yeah, okay, love. Okay, I don't like old women. Get away from me. Could it not be bothered reading? Ah! Look at that. I've got it all. All right, let's get eggs and milk. Milk. Milk and... and, and whoa, 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 whoa. All my stuff's falling out. Eggs. So we've got milk and eggs. Get garden peas. Garden peas? Why not just normal peas? Why do they have to be gardens? Garden of peas? Where are the garden of peas? Are the garden of peas anywhere? These garden peas. Oh, we've got Dinky. Dig. Whatever that is. Garden peas. Are they behind you, Turner, you twat? Garden peas. Yeah, they're garden peas. Got garden peas. Get honey, 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 honey. Honey, 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 honey. Honey. Where would honey be? If I was honey, I'd be right here. Honey, rice, Uncle Tony's only. Uncle Tony's rice. Instant rice, is that it? Ramen, 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 ramen. Well, let's get ketchup, because ketchup's there. And don't forget milk and eggs. Got that, obviously. Rice? Rice? Where's... Where could rice be? If I was rice, where could I be? Right, I'll go get myself a bag of chips, man. I'm going to take a bag of chips for myself. Spicy ricey, that'll do. Spicy ricey. Should I build this for you? I didn't get all the items first. What? How did I not? Ah, Uncle Tony's rice. I found it. We got Bubba. Bubba the big dog. That looks heavy, kid. Should I build you for all that? No, hold on. Mr. Carson didn't... Like, oh, Mr. Carson didn't have enough money to buy extra stuff. Oh, and what would that be? The fucking chips? Oh. Should I build this for you? Yes, please. I, he said pick up, pick up someone for himself. Exit. What a bitch. What a bitch. Mr. Carson, you bitch. You said you had enough for me. You best order me a pizza or something now. I'm going to be very upset. Oh, 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 just hang on. Jesus. Let's get going. Oh, I really can't stay with one hand. All right, let's head on back. What, how far did we go to the shops? And in the middle of the night as well? Hmm, very strange. 9.46 p.m. Very strange indeed. 
came very far and we came back a different way than we left. I think this is ours on the right, is it? Let's put the bike where we found it. Oh! Whoa, mama. I had to be again and I was starting to feel a little hungry. Yeah, just leave that there. It's fine. We've got food. Maybe we'll order his own pizza. I'll go rifle around his drawers and see what there is. Right, we're back. Let's go to the kitchen. Go to the kitchen and put it all back. If I just, just drop that there. That'll do. Like I said, I uh, thought I'd get some school work done. Let's actually put it on the side. I feel like a dick. Oh, wow. The mechanics in this game are amazing. <laughs> Go get some school work done then. It appears to be the way I need to do things. Get some school work done. No beetles on the grass? No? I think we're safe. Look at all these cameras around the house. I don't know if it's safe to have cameras though. I think hackers can get into your, your cameras. Oh, 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 all right, Andy, Andy, chill out. Dude, you said you're at Carson's, right? You need to see this. Search up Roy Carson's divorce on the internet right now. What? Roy Carson, internet browser. Roy Carson divorce. Roy Carson, co-founder of BM Media, claims to receive death threats from angry fans of his ex-wife. What the hell? Well, I wouldn't have stayed here if I'd have knew that. Known that, sorry. Subscribe now. Uh Oh, we can check the cameras. The hell was that? Uh. You best not be a fan of Mr. Carson's. Okay, my heart's slowly getting louder in my chest. I can feel it. The pressure's building up now. Now I know someone might be coming to get us. Who is it? Your delivery for the medium pizza. I didn't order any pizza. The one medium sized pepperoni pizza, sir. Where is he gone? <gasps> oh. Wow, you look way too happy. Here, take. Uh, thanks. Hey, this is probably a very strange request, but do you think I can wait inside? No, you cannot. No, you fucking. No, you cannot. No. Oh. I understand. Well, you have a good day. Why could you not just get in your fucking car anyway, you nut job? Alrighty then. Well, might as well eat it. So, I uh, guess we'll watch some TV like in episode one. Well, guess we're going to eat some pizza, eh? Okay. Oh, no. Let's turn the TV off. I did want to eat some pizza, but uh, apparently not. Though I could watch TV and whilst eating. Thought I could watch TV while eating. Well, I guess we are going to watch TV while eating then. That's, what in the hell is that? It's interesting. I am invested. <laughs> Look out for some pizza. It should be arriving. Oh, why? Thank you so much. I'm a savage anyway, I was just going to eat it regardless. I have been held hostage Could have been drug pizza like that drug coffee. He makes me solve math work until my head hurts. I can't escape. Can I use the bathroom? I'm not going to lie, we've got some weird videos in the fears to fathom. Episodic, psychological horror series. They're all very weird. They're very, 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 very weird. But yet, quite interesting. God, how slow do I eat pizza? That's God. Just folded that pizza in half. Like, in it goes. Hope everything's okay. Sad face. Oh, freedom. Freedom. 
Hey, yo, whoa. Is this another version of Skibbity Toilet or something? Oh, no, is this a monster that's just going to piss everywhere? That monster's me. I heard something at the door again. Basically, the game telling me to get up. I'm the toilet man. Come over here. What in the hell is that? Alright, crunch any louder. I knew I heard a knock at the door. Who is it? Right, but we'll just check on cameras. Simple as, mate, innit? Simple as. We'll just check on the cameras. If not, someone is being an ass, then they will get found out by my camera instead. Why is it going to the basement? Okay. Well, that was weird. I thought I teleported back downstairs. It says there's somebody here. Uh, she's here. The psycho bitch of an ex is here. She here? There was something at the door to go check. No, 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 you don't. You don't, though, do you? You don't have to go check. You don't. You don't have to check at all. There's nobody there. Apart from the creepy ex bitch, and we don't need to go see her. I told you, remember? Forget about it. Flowers? I don't know what to make of it. Well, neither do I. Should we put them in the kitchen? Okay. My heart's kind of sinking, not gonna lie. Well, let's go back upstairs to the cameras anyway. I don't like the... Unknown sender. Let me get to my room before I read any messages. I am not standing in a hallway with my back against an open wall. Hi, how are you? What did you have for dinner? None of your business, you creepy bitch. I assumed it was the wrong number. Yeah, but mate, everything's a bit too coincidental, isn't it? It was strange, but I dismissed and thought it was a coincidence and moved on. Besides, I have a lot to work to catch up on. Yeah, I did. Engrossment achieved. I am now fully engrossed. One thirty-six am well, I was in the middle of my schoolwork, the power went off. Oh, I can't see naff all. Dog? You there? Is the flashlight back in here? Oh no. I can't see anything. Oh, there's another bathroom down here. Wow. I mean, there's somebody outside here. But. I was suddenly very cold outside. Yeah, dog. Zeke was acting very weird. Let's fix the power. I turned the power back on. Yeah, I'm yawning. I could tell that someone had cut the power from the outside. He was really starting to piss me off now. Somebody else here? Who are you? Turner, this is not funny, I know. You said we'd stay friends. Get me back to my fucking room right now. Take me back to my room right now. I don't need to know shit. I don't want to be friends with nobody. I don't want to know you. I had to get back to my schoolwork for Monday. This is actually not funny. Let's have a look on the cameras. There's movement.
as long as nobody's in the basement i don't have to go down to the basement i really could not care where you are in the house oh it's just a dog is it just a dog okay right well let's engross in our work do we smoke or something did i just stay knocking I had a strange gut feeling about this situation. I might sound stupid now, but I don't want to overthink things. I overthink all the time. No, dog. What are you barking at now? Nah, dog. Dog? What are you doing? Did I leave? Did I leave that door open? I must have left that door open. I don't remember, did they? No, I left that. Yeah, anyway, let's just engross ourselves back into work. I don't remember leaving that door open. Door open, though. I heard something downstairs. So did I. That sounded like a motherfucking knife. I heard that shing like it's a katana sized blade. <gasps> oh, oh mama. Oh mama. Oh mama. Mama. Oh, I, I don't remember leaving the other on. I don't remember doing that. I don't remember having the oven on. I don't remember putting pizza in the oven. I ate all my pizza. I don't... I don't remember. I had to go down and check. Oh, and the music. The creepy music. I don't... I don't... Did I leave the oven on? Dog? Okay, me low key made me feel very uncomfortable. Seki was acting very weird. I had to confront him. I didn't have his contact, I could only ask Andy. Let's close this door as well. Can you send me Turner's contact, ask him to quit messaging? Or quit messing? Andy Reynolds. He's messing with what? He's been snooping around the house. This is not cool. I'm gonna go stand on the stairs just in case I have to run. Dude. It's a my prison. I attribute it all, I attribute it all to my that lack of sleep. I was aware. Uh, I can't even read. I'm panicking. I was aware of a tendency to be over thing summer. The only logical thing I could think of at the time was to keep my eye on the security monitors. Well, fuck that shit. You don't have to tell me twice. I'll go back to the room right now. Now I think about it, I should have called the cops here. Why did I not call the cops? The idea even entered my head. Oh, did it not? Did it not enter my head? Never thought about it, no. I don't remember to... I don't remember leaving that door open. Why did I leave the door open? Dude. Check out the article. It was Brad who told me about it. Oh, it's really sketchy. My heart skipping beat, you see him. Uh, 
What do I do? I thought I kept staring at the screen in pure horror. <gasps> what do I do? on the security cameras. I'm just gonna keep my eyes on the prize. <gasps> she's fucking coming! She's fucking coming! She's fucking coming! She's coming! She's coming! She's coming! She's coming! What can I do? What can I do? What can I possibly do? She was right outside my door to the room I was in. I thought my heart was pounding right out of my chest. That's my name. No. Whatever is happening between us, we can work it out together. How did you get in here? I've always been nothing but nice to you. But you always treated me like shit. You need help, Kara. I know everything. I know you left me for her. Left for who? This is exactly why we broke up. I love you. What, what about that? You need to leave right now. We deserve a second chance. You know I could turn on to the police for this, turn you into the police, I meant to say, not turn you on to the police, because that'd be weird, wouldn't it? Do it and I will fucking kill both of you. All right, Kara. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Do I sneak out of there and go into the other room? If I can't have you, if she says no one can, we're fucked. No one else should. Oh, I knew it. Oh, my God. I knew it. Oh, fuck off, you crazy bitch. She ain't making her way around to that door, is she? Noah. <gasps> she stuck a knife in me. Bloody hell! I can feel my ribs! I heard something I had to go down and check. And what is that something, hmm? Well, I don't remember leaving the oven on. Oh my god, that's different! Right, she's right outside the door. I thought she said Dylan, oh my god, my heart actually skipped a beat. I think what we can do is go over there and escape hide in that other room, the laundry room, because she can crouch in there. What is happening between us? We can work it out. How did you get in here? You need help. Uh, this is not like you, junkie. Like you all! Oh, at least she's not there. Yeah, you definitely wouldn't want to say that to somebody with a knife. You do oh, okay. I know we do. Okay, okay, okay. And I'll fucking kill both of you. With it being face to fathom, I bet I have to shut up because it might want to me.
fucking running. I made a fucking run for it. The bike outside. Let's go get the fucking bike. Just get the fucking bike and go. Go, 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 motherfucker. I left the house and ran out the block. My dad called the cops. Oh my god, we fucking escaped. Oh. So by the time they arrived, she had already left the house, but I knew where she lived. You get that bitch locked up. Absolute nut job. Kara's one of one of the first people I met on dating sites. She was three years older than me, but I found her cute, so I started dating. However, two months into our relationship, she started doing her hard drugs. I told you she was a. I tried to get help, but she turned into. A, I tried to get her help, but she turned it around on me, as if I was trying to change her. Well, obviously she's doing hard drugs, man. One day I had enough, and I had broken up with her. I told her to leave and not contact me again. She was pissed. Well, she was either pissed or high, either one of them. She was trying to convince one of the cops she didn't intend on doing anything wrong with a big fucking butcher's knife, but of course the cops wasn't buying it. They reviewed the footage and showed her everything in front of the porch of her entry the moment she grabbed a kitchen knife. No way. I think this is the really story out of the fears to fathom. But the thing that messed with me the most was the fact that there was nothing stolen from the house. Turns out she was heavily under the influence of drugs and alcohol at the time, so she technically was pissed. She was arrested and sentenced for a long while. <sighs> Holy mama. That was amazing. Yet again, it's fears to fathom what to expect. I have big expectations for number five. If it's as good as number one and this one, three, Wow, we are into a delight for number five. I, I think it definitely goes number five, number three, number four, and then number two. Number two was a bit... Mm. Well, thank you all for joining me today. This one has been probably one of the best episodes of Fears to Fathom. I can't wait to see what they have in store. This one was probably more panic-inducing than any of them, especially with the cameras, and then you had night vision on the cameras as well. What? Why did that extra step of night vision have to be there to make it extra creepy? They've done a fantastic job yet again. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me today. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you drop a comment down below if you did. And as always, I will see you all in the next episode. Until then, bye-bye.